cool. Um, today, do you know what? I was just coming from work, right? And I did a wee wee and it smelled like sugar puffs. Really badly though. Sugar puffs! Did your wee wee smell like sugar puffs pudding? Anyway, while I was shopping today, well, while I was working today, I went shopping. Oh, phone. BJ, it's the boss. One sec. Hi, BJ. Yeah, at that, at Jim Pit. Oh, okay, alright. Yeah, yeah, I've just been speaking to Corinne now, yeah. Alright, brilliant. Okay, see you later. Yeah, you too. Bye bye. I used to go to Jim Pit on Monday morning. Yes, um, yeah, while, while, I was, while I was working today, I nipped into a model shop to buy a new boat called, where are we up to there? Yeah, here we are in shop, Flying Fish. <laughs> um, that's, that's the front of it. And I think it is a mighty big box. If I stand behind it, you will see. Um, but I thought you might want to enjoy the opening. The opening of this big box. Yeah, I got this from a from a model shop in Manchester called Best Trade, and I think it's it's meant a bit. Whoa! It's meant a bit for the public, uh, for the uh, just for trade. Cause I got this beast for forty quid. In fact, thirty-seven quid it was. Oh wow! It's massive. There's not going to be much in here but the boat. It's supposed to be a, a transmitter and stuff. Charger and all the rest of it. I hope I've not been done. Oh wow. Oh. Ah, there's a charger. It's all in the end. Charger. One transmitter. They've got really cool helicopters in there as well. And I have already got one. And my little tiny tiny weeny weeny one that I've already got, which cost me 25 quid, they sell for 30, 35 in places as well, was, uh... oh, you got to build it, the propellers are there. What's that? More good stuff. Stickers. Misprinted stickers. Uh... What was I going to say? Yeah, yeah. The boat, the, the the helicopter that I spent 25 quid on was eight quid in there. So it just gives you a rough idea of uh, how cheap this place is. Uh, there's bigger helicopters, proper ones that you can. Yeah, I'll show you. I think it's just here. Slightly faulty though, mine now because I've uh, I've crashed it that many times. Where's it gone? Oh, here it is. You get, you get this, right? It's got a pink nose at the moment because you weight the front down, right? And then it always goes forward a little bit. I'd show it you're working, but that's kind of old news now. That, that was what I've been playing with all through Christmas. And you charge it up through, that, through this little wire here off the remote control for about half an hour and then you get about 15, 20 minutes flight it's pretty cool, they hover if you don't put the weight on the front, but like I say, if you put the weight on the front, just it, it flies around quite well. Better than you would think. Um anyway, let's have a better look at this boat, eh? Oh it has got props on it, they must be spur propellers. Props are already on. On off switch here. Little spring loaded thing here at the back. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, baby. Two motors there. I don't know if you can see it. Because of the light. Light's not very good in here. I presume you put your, your battery pack in there, which I've not actually seen yet. Oh, there's the aerial tube. 
which I presume just comes out and then you get this bit of wire stick it up there yeah, I was speaking to the guy in the uh, in the model shop as well. Like I say, it's called Best Trade. I think you can find it on the internet as well for cheap models and things. Um, mega, mega cheap. It's not really got like really cool professional stuff in there. It's mainly for like gifts and stuff like that. But. I found out about the place off some guy because I took my little speedboat, which I've had for years and years, down to a, a local lake, and uh, oh, wicked! Down to a local lake, and uh, this guy told me about it. And then ever since that was like not not long, not that long before Christmas, and uh, I've been I passed there a few times. Where is the battery? In the other end. Oh my god, look at the size of that! Come out, you swine! <laughs> this one? It's a similar sort of one that I used to put in my model cars years ago, but. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2? Four, six, eight, ten. There's ten cells in that swine. This thing's gonna go like shit off a shovel. Two propellers, two motors. This thing is gonna fly. Oh, do you know what that is? I just wait to tell you what that is. I think it, you slot it all together, and it's a little, uh, it's a little stand so you can put your boat on it. Yeah, my, my other, my little, my little yellow boat, which I will show you. Is well cool. This is like a professional, well, professional racing boat, kind of. Yeah, you've got to tape the lid on and stuff. And uh, that's what it looks like. Oh, oh wow. You don't have a rudder with that one. I think you just control each propeller at each side. That one's got a propeller and a rudder. And just there, on the rudder, both sides, there's a little snicket, snicket hole, basically. I don't know whether you can see on there. It's like a line, like a cut line cut into it. And that goes in, in there, up the... Uh, rudder down that orange pipe inside down along along this pipe along this side here down and then if you can see inside there's like a wind around the motor and the cold water goes round and round the motor and it comes back off on this side here you see this little bit here the water it goes and squirts out the side water cooled motor and it used to be shit hot this boat I tell you I used to have to put things in it to slow it down or else it would just come out of the water and no seriously it was seriously fast little tiny radio gear it's all professional gear in it but for some reason I think it's the cells because I've left them for years uh, not charged up they're just they're not coming back to me they're, uh, it seems to run out of power really quickly and it just doesn't have the same it goes round but pretty slowly so that's, it's not for the bin I might I might get some uh, batteries for it sometimes some new cells you call them when you're a model maker or a model user but yeah that's pretty good I may as well show you some more models I've shown you my helicopter and a uh, one sec. <laughs> I know I just said one sec, right? But the time I'm editing it right now, and I I was chatting for too long, and I'm probably doing it now. So I'll just hurry up and say bye, and I'll show you the rest of the models some other time. All right, bye.